Okay, this is the video pad uh, workspace as it opens. When it first opens, there'll be a little NCH splash screen here. Um, there's no way to close it, it just lasts a second and then it disappears. You can see you have all your important buttons along the top. Add media if you have video files stored in your computer. Capture, in other words, uh, take in video clips from your cameras or camcorders. Insert a blank. Now, blanks are just like it shows in the picture on the icon, just empty video frames if you want to put a title on them or something. Uh, you can narrate. You can add subtitles, which is a really cool feature. Preview is grayed out because we don't have a video down here in the track. Save movie button. Options. You can upgrade to the full professional version. And the suite, which I'm not quite sure what that is. Over here you have three tabs. Your media list, where your videos and photos that you add are going to go. You have effects, which don't show anything now because we don't have a video in here. And the same thing with transitions. So everything is, is fairly uh, compact and it's very easy to use. First let's add a video clip. So I'm going to choose add media. I'm just going to use the sample video that came with the PC. It ends up up here. You just click and drag it down to the video track. Notice it shows your audio track as a waveform which is really handy for people that want to do lyric videos or if you want to um, edit, there's a picture of it right up here, if you want to edit or do anything to your audio track. I don't, so we're just going to use the video track. This little area here on the left with a little preview in it, that's for your clip preview. So if you have two or three video clips, as you click on each one, only that clip shows in this window. The larger window over on the right is for your project. So it will show it will show the full project from beginning to end on that side. You have a little camera here if you want to take a snapshot, make a still image from one of your video frames. Um, but you want to blur your video. Normally no one blurs the whole video. You just blur a small section of it if you might want to. So um, Blurring takes a bit of computer resources, even from with my big i7 machine here. So I'm not going to blur the whole video, but I'll show you how you can blur the video. Click on, let me show you the effects and transitions. This has a lot of effects. Um, most of them have controls. Like if you want to click on crop and make your video smaller, I still want it to be widescreen. So I'll click the 16 by 9 radio button. And then I just want to show the middle part of it. I just click and drag this in. Okay, and that's cropping. But what if I don't want to crop? What if I don't want to affect that? Want an effect I put up here? I just click the X and yes, remove the spears. Okay, we want to blur the video. So we're going to go down here to smoothness. Notice how it looks a little blurry. And you'll see up here it has a slider. You can make it more smooth, which makes it high contrast, actually. Or, if you go to the left, you can blur it. And uh, I'm just, that's just blurred a little bit. You can blur it a whole lot, so you can't see anything in the video. But you can blur it just a little bit, or you can blur it more. This works frame by frame. There's a little green... Uh, it might be hard to see on your screen, but there's a little green bar that comes across that shows the progress. Like I said, nobody blurs their entire video. They only blur a small clip, usually a small couple of seconds of it. So I'm not going to wait until the whole clip here is blurred. I just wanted to show you how to do it. Now, I'm going to stop the blurring, show you how to save your clip or your movie. You're going to click on, you can preview it right here, preview your project, which opens it in um, opens it in uh, full screen. Click on Save Movie. You're going to get this. You want to save it to a disk, to your computer, to a portable device, etc., etc. You want to upload it. You want to make it 3D. Just click on Computer Data for now, unless you want to burn it to a disk. And I usually just, I know this one is HD 720, 
But if it saves it at HD, it's an AVI file, which I don't want. I want a WMB file. So then it changes the preset to custom. It automatically has the resolution of this clip, which is 7, 8, 1280 by 720. Notice how it changes it to PAL. If you're in the United States or almost all of North America, most of Central America, and all of South America except Brazil and Argentina, or if you're in Japan or South Korea, so all of North America, South America, Central America, Japan, and South Korea, you do not want PAL. You need to change this to NTSC. If you're in other parts of the world, you will have other options. Now, if you know about Codex, you can click on the encoder option and you get to pick the codex that this this free program has available. Um, generally, okay, I've set it for mine. I know it's 128, 44 kilohertz stereo. And then you just click OK. And then you're ready to save. Oh, you browse to a place here you're, where you want it saved. Okay. And... Uh, and you just click OK and you proceed to save it. I don't want to save this because this is my sample video. Okay, I hope this uh, little lesson on how to blur has been helpful.